Hey guys, this is Zeusfer. I uh, was asked to create a multi-box video for you guys so that you would understand how to run multiple accounts on Diablo, have your little guys running together. It's pretty fun. It's real easy, real simple. I'm going to show you step by step. We're going to do this real fast. So you're just going to click on your browser. It's the first step. We're going to type in Process Explorer. As you can see, I've already done this, so it's here. Uh, as soon as you click on it, click on Process Explorer. It's going to, the download is going to be right here. Just click on it. Open your file. Uh, most computers run on 64, so that's what we're going to click on. Um, it will then ask you to extract all. You extract all. You will choose your directory. Um, I like mine to be on my desktop, so I have easy access to it. Um, and the way you do that, just click on desktop and select folder. And you can, it's that easy. Bam. Bam. I've already done this, so I'm not going to redo it. Um, then you'll get this right here. Once it's extracted, it will look like that. Um, the next step, we're going to click on your game. And you're going to so we're going to run into Battle.net. And you want to make sure that on Battle.net, you do not have Keep Me Logged In, or it will just automatically log in the last email address and password that you have and you will get kicked out every single time so we're going to log in and i'll show you where that option is that you can deselect it sometimes it doesn't allow you to select it right there um, so here's the first here's the next step we're going to go to settings you're going to click on that little logo click settings on game launch we're going to make sure that this is set to exit battle.net completely and then when clicking X, make sure that is selected to exit Battle.net completely. You do not want to minimize it into a tray. And then here's where you select Keep Me Logged In. You can uncheck that. And you're going to scroll down. And you're going to make sure that this is checked. Allow multiple instances of Battle.net. If you do not have this checked, it will not work. And you will have problems. Press Done. And you're good to go. Go ahead and run your first game. And this is your first account. Once that is done, we are going to select our character. You only have to be in the lobby. You do not have to be in a game. We're going to go ahead and minimize that. Um, and this is where Process Explorer comes in. There are multiple other programs that run this, but they cost money, and we don't want to use any money, right? Just to run multiple instances of this game. You're going to right-click on 64 and press Run as Administrator. Press Yes. And when you first get this program, um, it will look like this. And you're going to click in this little box right here. You're going to press D2R. Type in D2R. And go ahead to go to view. And you're going to show lower pane. And that will allow us to see the handles, the dynamic link libraries, threads. And you're going to click on your game. And this is where you're going to see Diablo check for other instances. You're going to right click on that, close the handle going to give you a crazy thing of forcing a handle to be closed lead to an application crash we understand it will not do this but we're going to click a yes um, once you're done you can minimize this and for every time you download battle.net it will you know go to a directory that you place it in that you choose and normally it is under our c drive program files and it will be in here as you can see, I have three accounts, all three files here. And what I did was just cut and paste it here on the desktop. It's real simple. And then I've copied each file and pasted each file on my on the desktop. You can do this just by right clicking, press copy, and then you're going to paste um, for each account that you have, and it will. Copy all the items and put it in there. Now, I do, do not need this, so I'm going to close this and just delete that file. I already have them. Once you've closed the first instance, you can go ahead and log into your second one. So I go to my second file, click on my launcher, close it all up, and we're going to go to your next account. And it will always have the email address of the last account that you logged into. It kind of helps you understand which one and you've logged into. All 
I will log into that. And it will pop up. And you see that it says play. So that you know already that it's good to go. Press play. Wait for all the cinematic spiel to be done. And once you come in, you click your character. Make sure you are in the lobby, boys. And minimize it again. Once you're in the lobby, you just do the same exact thing. You go over here to your process explorer. It's already up. You click on it. You're going to click on the second one. As you can see, there is no more instances on the first one. So you know that's not the one we want. We want the second one. It says check for instances. That's the one we just ran. We're going to close that handle. Once it's closed, you can run the next account. And you can just keep doing this. Once the next one's up, there'll be three here. And you just do the same thing over and over and over until you run all eight accounts, how many ever you have. Uh, and minimize that. And now we have two accounts that are in here. Uh, let me see. And these are all hardcore. So I will show you how that this works. We'll just create a game. And then we'll click on our other guy as friends join game I already have them added to each other so as you can see we're in the same game press party you can see my uh, my sorceress is in here and for my third account I would do the same thing I'm not gonna do the third account don't need to you guys understand how this works or you should if you don't just leave me a comment concern question whatever just leave in the box make sure you like subscribe and I will tell you one more thing um, before you go out and buy another account and you want a multi box make sure you have enough RAM for your computer because if you don't your memory will be overloaded and it just it's gonna crash it's not gonna be good so just go to system right here you can right click on your window just go to system and it will tell you how much RAM you have on your computer right there I have 32 gigs I used to have I believe eight um, when I first got my PC and then I, I went out and got me a hundred I think I spent a hundred dollars on this 32 gigs they do have them on Facebook I've seen them um, you know local people selling them they have computers that they you know dismantle and tear apart and they take those sticks and they sell those so if you uh, you might be lucky and find some that are cheaper um, they're they're not really that expensive they're only 100 bucks or, or so uh, you don't need 32 gigs you can run this on 16 pretty easy I think each game it's about four gigs of RAM to run it it's not that hard I hope this was easy uh, informative I hope you guys understand it if not you can get with me on discord um, just message me here on YouTube it's not a, a big deal I will get back to you I promise um, so like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching the video.